This is Sean Woodell from Heavenly Soaps and Such. Thanks for watching. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I enjoy all of the comments. And um, watch the ads. It does help me out a little bit with making the videos. Um, so today um, I have two special orders that I need to make. And one is going to be um, a soap for some cancer patient gift bags. And I'm not really going to do the video on that one. Uh, but the soaps are the same as far as the oils. I already have them in both of the pots and um, heating up. And I just have all my my goody stuff in there. Oh, and my washing machine's going off. Um, this one is going to be um, a special order for a customer. And she wants some goat's milk soap. Um, and I'm waiting back to hear exactly what kind of essential oil she wants with it turn that off. I turned it off and now it's doing something. Um, so this is going to be the goat's milk soap. I am using um, this goat's milk here. I've already mixed. I forgot to um, to film it whenever I was doing this. But I just had this little mix and measure cup. I got these at a yard sale I think for about eight of them for a dollar or something. But um, I already mixed in my two cups of water and um four of the little cups of this according to the package and i will go put this in the freezer and then of course i will weigh this um i you know i can't go by how many cups it is but i will actually weigh it with the scale whenever um i get ready to use it so i'll know how exactly how much it is and i did use my stick blender and i blended it together to make it blend together quicker I had someone ask me what kind of a stick blender um, I use and this is it's not necessarily the kind that I always use but this is a I guess you say brawn uh, it's a nice heavy-duty stick blender I picked it up at a yard sale I think it was two dollars but it has worked really well um so that's what kind that is and it does have some little adjustments on here I'll be honest I keep it at maximum and I don't ever bother it, but you can, um, it says you can do it, um, change it, the sp I guess it's the speed. I'm really not sure. Actually, you do it like this. But like I said, I leave it all the way on six, and it works great. <laughs> Haven't had any problems with it. Like I said, just a $2 little one I get from the yard sale. And what I try to do is anytime I find one at a yard sale, I pick it up because um you know stick blenders use them a lot with soap and things and the last thing i want is one going out and me having to run to walmart to pay full price for one so i just keep a couple i think i have one or two more under there maybe i think maybe just one and so if i see another one i'll pick it up and just have it on hand so i'm going to let these oils heat up i'm going to go ahead and put this in the freezer and i will bring you back Okay, I brought you back because what I want to do is I want to measure out how much of the goat milk, goat's milk I have. So I use the same exact cup and put it on there. And, and if it's a little different, I don't worry about it because it's the liquid. So the liquid can be changed um, some, so it's not a big deal. But I tear it out. It's on zero. I just want to see how much of this is in here because I need to know how to do my lye water. Okay, so that's... um one pound one ounce point two so what i'm gonna do is put half of that actually i'm doing uh it doesn't really matter okay because i'm doing this in the same i was thinking i had to half it i don't sorry about that all right so one pound and it's just going to say one one point well one pound one point two all right so now what i'll do is i'm going to go ahead and um one pound one point two i'm gonna go ahead and do my water but I'm going to write that down because I want to make sure that I don't forget. And I don't know what I do with my pen. I think it's in my box over here. That's what I don't like about uh, videos. is because, you know, you, not that I don't like the videos, but you're trying to do stuff and, and when stuff's not ready, it just kind of... Um, messes things up a little bit. All right, so one, I'm gonna write it down, one pound, 
1.2. All right, and what I need is um, my pen to work. Okay. I need to see how much water I need. So I need um, 29.64 water, which is one pound 13.6 ounces. Okay. And I'm going to subtract the um, one pound 1.2. Let's put this back on there and make sure that I had it where I needed it. One pound, 1.2, yeah. Okay. So, let's track that. And if I subtract that, one pound, 1.2, I'm going to get 12.4 ounces. Okay. So, I need 12.4 ounces of water. 12.4 ounces. Okay, so I've got my water measured out. I'm going to go ahead and tear the scale. Okay, and then I'm going to add the 12.4. Ah, 12.4 exactly. Okay. So, now I know that this is um, how much water I need for the goat's milk. And while I'm doing it, I'm going to go ahead and measure out the water for the regular one, which is 1 pound 13.6. 1 pound 13.6 so that one's ready okay so and I'll put a little rest of the water just up in there to keep my stuff nice and fluid all right I have my, my bowl here and I'm going to use this for my lye go ahead and mix that up I'm gonna oops did I'm gonna tear it out and I'll put this in the freezer real quick. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll let my live water cool down while my um my goat's milk is um getting really really cold. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the goat's milk one, okay, and I actually need 12 ounces of lye, so I've teared it out. I have my bowl ready. What I usually do, and I, I've already done this, but I'll, I'll show you again, is I take a dryer sheet, and I use the same one over and over, and I just keep it in the cabinet, and then I will throw it away after a while, but just... Do the bowl like that, it gets it nice and keeps it from sticking. Ugh. Okay, and I'm gonna get fussed at, so. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on. Make sure you wear gloves when you're handling lye. Okay, gloves on. 12 ounces of lye. spoon and I get it on 12 and it's ready okay so this one's ready I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in there and this is for the other soap but you can see that nothing stuck in the bowl so that one's ready and I just kind of make sure it goes down in there. I need 12 ounces again. Oops, a little 
little too much. Okay. Okay, and this one, of course, is the goat's milk one because it's just going to have water in it right now and it doesn't have much. But I just dump it right in. You can see nothing, nothing stuck. Set it back out of the way. Switch the bowl out quickly. Dry. And I try to clean up a little bit as I go along so that I don't have a big mess in the end. Okay, we'll go ahead and get this lie closed up. Get it put up. You can hear my little guy in the background. Okay, so um, now what I do is I'm going to take a little bit of Tussa Silk. Let's store back. Okay. And I get my Tussa Silk from here. Fibers So Natural. Um, so there's, there's what I get. Tussa Silk Chop Natural Gold. And what I do is I just take a, and I don't usually do it with these gloves on. So it's sticking because of the wet. But anyway, I just take a little pinch, maybe like that, and just throw it in. Another, maybe that's quite a little bit. Pinch, throw it in, and put the rest of it up. Lasts a long, long time, and then I put my little downy sheet back up in the cabinet. Put my tuss of silk back up. I'll go ahead and put my glove back on. I'm going to need two whisks. Because what happens is when I put the tuss of silk in, if I don't use the silk, I don't have to have but one whisk. But with two, with the tuss of silk, it sticks all to the whisk, so you can't like change them back and forth. But I just I'll stick that in. I'll show you what I mean. See if you see, you can see the silk all around, and it just sticks there until it melts. And the more you stir. Okay, and I'm gonna put this over by the window. Just open the window. And just stick it over there. I'll stir it a couple times. And this is the one that is for the goat's milk. It's going to take a little bit more stirring because it doesn't have as much water. And you can put this in an ice bath if you want to, you know, a bowl of ice water. Just stick it down in there and let it cool. And what I do is when I'm ready to, if when I'm ready to use it, if it's not really as cold as I want, I'll do that, but I don't usually do it until. Okay. And you can see it's milky looking. This, now see, this silk is almost gone. And the reason being is there's so much lye concentration in this water because of me taking out the water to add the goat's milk. Okay. So I'll just put this up here too. Shh. Y'all go somewhere else and play. Okay, so what I did is you take your regular amount of lye water that you need, the regular amount of water, subtract how much goat's milk you want to add, and that's how much uh, water you use. Then you add the goat's milk after the lye water has cooled down. Now there are numerous ways of doing this. It's just the way I do it. Sometimes I do ice cubes. Sometimes I don't. Today I don't really have time to wait on that. So I'm, I'm just going to do the cold goat's milk added to the cool down lye water before I get ready to put these in. Now I want to go ahead and turn these off because they are um, they are 
getting hot and I don't want them to be too hot. I'm just going to give it a quick stir. And this is hot process, so I will be cooking it. So I'm going to transfer this one over there. off and I'll let them cool and I'll bring you back oh I've got some tusks of silk flying around here I will bring you back when um when I am ready to um start mixing them together okay I'm back I decided to split the videos up and actually do one video on the um, peppermint eucalyptus soap which is for some pa cancer patient packages and do a different video on the goat's milk. So the, I, I'm adding the oatmeal to the um, this soap, the peppermint eucalyptus soap, soap, which is for the cancer patient packages. And I decided I was going to add it in with the lye water and kind of give it a chance to get a little soggy and just um, see how that works better than adding it to the super fats. What I'm doing is I put it in and I just kind of... I know that a lot of other people put it in with their water before they add the lye. So I figured, hey, and then they add the lye in it. So I thought, well, this will work. Um, and I'm going to be adding oatmeal to the other one as well. Oh, well, I'm just going to go ahead and put this in. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do this one. And you can see that it's in there. I'm going to give it a minute to kind of suck up some of the water and do its little thing. I think it should be ready though. So I think I might go ahead. Alright, we'll go ahead and pour it in. Um, just kind of pour it over my spatula like that. I hope you can see that. That way it doesn't like splash. Make sure you pour it carefully so because you don't want any lye water splashing everywhere. I'm going to give it a quick and just kind of get it out because I'm going to leave all that in there. So I am just going to scrape it down. And what I could have done is I could have taken out some water and, and let the oatmeal sit separately until I added them. But it's, gonna, it's really basically going to be the same thing because you're still going to add them together into the oils. I'll save this to use for the next one. Okay, now I'm going to start stickling. I'm going to turn this to four and just see what it sounds like. Ah, I do like that because it's less of a chance to splash it. I have to remember that.
this is going to be the peppermint eucalyptus. Essential oils. I use peppermint eucalyptus essential oils. It smells really, really nice. It's a great wake you up or in the morning, wakes you up, help you right up. Um, Turn it up a little bit more, by twisting it to six. And, and you don't really have to stick blend it as much. You can go ahead and just close the lid and let it do its thing, but um, you can also kind of force it through the stages. Since I have another one to do, I'm going to go ahead and, um, and these are the same oils, so if I mix them, use the stick blender from one to another, it doesn't matter on this. Okay? Put that one there, and I'm going to let this one cook for about, oh, go ahead and turn it on low. Actually, I'm going to turn it on high until it gets, nah, I'm going to keep it on low. Uh, I'm going to let it go ahead and start doing its thing, and then I'll bring you back probably in about 45 minutes to stir it. See you in 45 minutes. Okay, I just added um, one cup of oatmeal into the last solution. It's here. And I'm going to, make sure you can see, okay, I'll slide it down a little. But I'm going to go ahead and just stick blend it a little bit. Just kind of give it a good mix. I just want to mix it in a minute. Give it a chance to soften up some because you don't really want it to be an exfoliant. Which now if you're after that, then that's, there's a different way to do the, the oatmeal. But if you're not, if you want soothing, benefits of the oatmeal, then you want the, oat, the oatmeal to get soggy um, and get all that juice off of it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and um, put this in the pot that I'm going to be doing. Give it a nice stir. Okay, and we'll go ahead and um, turn it on. And I just have some pieces on the bottom. I want to make sure they get mixed in. I'm kind of just waiting on this to get to soak in some, get a little soggy. All right. So now what I'm going to do is just run it across the top of my stick blender so it doesn't splash. And again, this is the goat's milk soap, so of course I did not have as much water in here because I will be adding the goat's milk in a few minutes. I'm going to scrape this out. And I just take my spatula and just kind of... And, and there are numerous ways to do this, so if you do it differently, that's fine. This just um, is one of the many ways to do it. You can add it to your super fats at the end. Some people take out some of the water and add the oatmeal just to the water and then add that later. Some people add it in the beginning. Some people strain the oatmeal off and just add the oatmeal water. It, it really is up to you. Some people use a different type of oatmeal. Um, that doesn't have actually have the oatmeal in it. Um, it just has the benefits. But like I said, that's kind of up to you. So, I'm going to 
give this some stir. Break it up off the bottom. Turn myself down again to four. I'm glad I figured that. Thought about using that because it works better so I don't have to worry about it splashing as much. And if, if you're scared of live water, you need to wear sleeves so that if it did splash, it wouldn't get on your arms. Some people wear the goggles. You know, that's always a great precaution. So please, please, please be safe. always uh, keep your lye solution things away from children uh, like your lye water you know, make sure you set it up while it's cooling where no one can get it um, this one that I just use is sitting back here and as soon as I'm done I will go clean that out and put it away and if you don't have children or animals in the house then that's not big thing at the moment. Okay, I'm going to go get my goat's milk. Before that, I'm going to put this in the sink. So I'll come back, let me go grab the goat's milk. Now this, this is not slushy. I didn't let it get slushy, but that's okay. I'm going to add it really slowly. If it's slushy, it's better. Ice is even better. But you can do it without, without it being that way if you're just careful. What I'll do is pour it in. Okay, I like doing it this way better. I used to add the milk solution in with my lye water in the form of ice cubes. But you're still getting the whole benefit of, I mean, the burn of just the lye. So by doing it this way, the lye is already mixed in with the oils. And so it's kind of taken away a little bit of the power of the lye because you're mixing the milk in with the lye that's diluted with the oils, so it's less of a shock to it, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Okay. I just want to make sure that this is all incorporated nicely. I don't smell any ammonia smell, which is like the burn of, um, of goat's milk, um, which, now, it's going to have a certain smell, but, um, and, and it's, mine always changes colors and turns a darker, which is fine, because it's, I like it because it's a rustic look, and it always turns out nicely, my customers love it, so. mixed in nicely. I'm going to stir this one a little bit more to kind of force it through. 
from one of the stages. golden brown. I'm gonna try to get off what I can. for about probably 30 minutes um, and bring you back to check it. Okay, I came in to check on the soap and I noticed that the goat's milk soap has separated, which is, is normal. Uh, goat's milk soap will separate. So I just want to show you, you can kind of see, it looks like almost like um, pieces of it floating or something in the oil. But anyway, it's separated. All you have to do is uh, bring it back together again. And I'll show you how to do that. back in before I stop you can see some sometimes you can see it around the top edge and you just need to make sure you keep pushing it and when you pull the stick blender out it can go everywhere so sometimes it's best just to kind of turn it off and push it down in there okay I'm gonna start
going to give it a bump. Get what I can off of here. sure it's off okay so there we have it and now you can see it's nice and smooth the whole way to the bottom so this one will cook a lot faster because it has milk in it the um, pine tar soaps and the milk soaps are like that they separate and then you um you just bring them back together so, put the lid on that, and I'll bring you back in a little while to check it. Okay, I'm back to check the other one. Um, I had to um, mix the goat's milk soap one back together. So, I said, well, let me come and check on this one. And see, now this is one reason why I don't like to not keep stick blending a soap. Because I want it to go ahead into full emulsion. And instead of it kind of separating out like this, so I'm going to get run across the top, get all those oils mixed back in. reasons please just go ahead and have your gloves on because this is still actively um still active lying here um i don't usually have a problem which doesn't mean i won't so one day i may regret not having them on but so please just go ahead and wear your safety equipment tell the difference in the plain if you go and watch the uh, goat milk soap video you can tell the difference in the color this one has oatmeal but doesn't have the goat's milk in it so therefore it doesn't have the brown really brown look okay let's start it in and let it cook maybe another 30 minutes and I'll bring you back. I'll bring you back. <laughs> 